I was just asking. Season eyes. Yep. Hey, was, was this the kind of the type of game you got some of your freshmen and pitching when you were coming to Oregon this year, just you know, all, all fastest offense defense? Yeah, we used to uh, be in Skybox that's right across the street. We used to talk about it all the time, how we would be going for, like, high amounts in, in the scoreboard, and we just came out and tried to give that same effort. What was the point of regrouping from, from the Stanford game? I mean, just how, how tough was it to kind of kind of band back together, in particular a performance like this? Um, well, for me personally, I feel like it was a great win. Um, I feel like it's something we need to keep on doing and just build on um, at this point. I feel like the Stanford loss was something that really gave us an awakening uh, at, at this point in time in the conference to play. So right now we just need to get back on board. We needed that win, a significant win, and we just got to come out Sunday and keep on building from there. So. And you guys told them that no shot on the first possession. That sort of set the tone. Do you feel like defensively being able to, to keep them tight and get a shot on that first one? Uh, well, that, that's always our game plan, just to come out and start off uh, playing defense really hard, just to set the tone. Uh, earlier in the year, we were having some problems with that, but as of lately, um, we've we've been coming out strong and we're just trying to keep that same mentality throughout the whole game. And I felt like we did a great job of that today. So, what was I mean, they scored 40 points. It's the lowest you guys have given up all year. Obviously, what what was working for you guys defensively? Do you feel like you were doing to limit them? Uh, we got a lot of deflections, and uh, some somebody on our team got like seven blocks. I don't know who, but it was just yeah. But Jeez. after that, it just. <laughs> <laughs> After that, it, it changed the game a lot. They were, they just seemed very timid heading to the basket, and they were all kind of pump faking. And I don't know, it just changed the game a lot. So, Kenny, at some point, are you surprised when people keep trying to get to the rim when you're having that like that? Um, sometimes I do question it. Some, you know I mean, like occasionally I tried to, uh, I tried to like you know, but I don't, I don't, I don't understand why they they I don't know I don't understand. I don't get it sometimes. Was this a matchup where you felt like you could be a rim protector and, and have an impact, the, the kind of impact that you did? Uh, I mean, our coach told us that we had to work hard on defense, so I just tried to give the maximum amount of effort I could. So is something different this week in practice or before the game? Do anything different that got you able to turn this thing around that much? Because I, I know inside, or mentally you always know what to do, but what was it that made the difference? Um, honestly, I just feel like it's all on us as the players. Coach Allman preaches the same thing week in, week out, and it's just our job to come with the same mentality every week like we did uh, this week. I feel like our mentality's changed after the loss because we had a hard game and we, we took that and we ran with it and used it as motivation. So we just got to keep on coming to practice and being focused every week and not take anything for granted. So, Is this the most toughness you guys have shown this season, maybe mentally and physically? I would say so personally, but I feel like there's a lot more there for us. Um, I just feel mm -hmm. like there's so much talent on, on this team, and we have so many guys that can do multiple things defensively and offensively in a lot of pieces. So um, if we just can bring the same mentality we have tonight, I feel like we can really compete in this league. You guys have 19 assists. Do you feel like your ball movement was kind of key in, in getting into that zone and getting early looks, good looks? Uh, yeah. Our Passing started off on offense and it translated. We like we just tried to pass the ball more and more because at first when we scored low in games, we watched film, realized that it's stagnant, and coach emphasized moving the ball. So that's how we ended up with 19. Was this tonight, Kenny, about as active as you felt? I mean, you got off to a good start. Do you feel like you kind of got into a flow, kind of a little bit more than the last few games? Yeah, I started off real rocky. Um, I just got in a gym tries to give more effort. I feel like I wasn't giving as much as I should. And I just came out this game and tried to give as much as I could. Troy, what's the key to, I guess, replicating this defensive effort? And what, what can you guys do to continue this? Um, honestly, I feel like this is one of those days where we have to come back and kind of watch film and watch the positives. Um, I feel like sometimes we'll go in and we'll beat ourselves up so much that um, it just it just kind of takes over mentally, but I feel like this is one of those games where we go back. We still watch the bad, but we 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 grow on the good, and we make sure that we keep on building on this uh, game. So, Kenny, did you watch Jordan Bell and Chris Boucher, the shot blockers that have been here before? You feel like that's the kind of player? Um, yeah, I, I I watched them like when I was getting recruited here, and I wanted to learn from them, and then they left. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. So I was kind of put on the spot, and I talked to Jordan Bell a lot, and he tells me what I have to do in order to be successful here. So that's how it's been working out. Yeah, what do you think the biggest thing is for you just to be able to be this consistently? 
Um, really, it's just my mentality going to the games. I got to be more focused. I got to come in prepared, and everything will go for the best. How much did you want that block where you jumped over Peyton? Um, I wanted it real bad. I, I really wanted that block, and I mean, I, I wanted it. I want. I wanted to get ten today, but you know, it's okay. Are you keeping track in your mind about how many blocks during the game? You know, I, I do, but there's also that like that SWAT thing on the back. I don't know what like behind the <laughs> behind the uh the goal on the other side and I I, I count those, so I, I mean I am pretty sure most of them are mine. I'll tell so it, I just, Coach Hall, I don't care. <laughs> I'll tell it. So I'll be looking back there and I'll be trying to keep count. So. Like coach, he patting his steps, he's not playing defense. <laughs> oh, did you get a sense maybe early in the game that you wanted it more than they did, maybe? Honestly, yeah. Uh, I feel like we got a lot of energy from our, our starting five. Um, and we just kind of came out and, like I said, a lot of energy. Just It just continued to run through our bench. People came off the bench. And it was just multiple guys giving a lot of effort. And we need that all season. So, How difficult was it to flush that boss last week? And was that motivation to come into tonight's game? Uh, I feel like... <laughs> I feel like we flushed it uh, very easily. I feel like Coach Allman did a good job of just mm -hmm. kind of keeping us motivated. Um, he didn't dwell on it. It was kind of one of those things where it's like, we know we're better than that and we have to show it. And so um, we kind of just moved on from it and you know, it worked out for the best, so. You came back, Troy, I think he had 10 of the first 14 points there. Was that somewhere, what's the first couple of falls feeling pretty good today? Uh, yeah, my teammates did a good job of getting me the ball in open spots and stuff like that. So, I mean, I thank them a lot and just, being put in those positions, so. Okay. Thank you. All right.